welcome everybody. Before I get into the super cool buffs and changes for Drift Blim, I want to quickly have a disclaimer to check out the description below for a very uh, for a link to the Google Sheets that I use in my videos. Um, it's super important. You can check out all the buffs and changes there. And most importantly, if you check this tab down here, there is a link to the Move Change Google Sheet where you can look at every single move, buff, and change, and they are organized into categories, so it's easy to see which one, uh, you know, which which moves are which, and you can. You know, control plus F to look up specific moves, and that's really important for when you're navigating the Pokemon buffs and changes, because um, the vast majority of moves in this hack are buffed or changed in some regards. So, yeah. Um, with that being said, though, Drip Bloom has some super sick buffs. Um, I did actually opt to keep their massive HP stat. Um, typically, a lot of Pokemon with like giant HP, I might lower it or buff it depending on the Pokemon because I want to make HP based a little bit more on size. But I think the fact that they're a giant hot air balloon fits to have a really high HP stat. Um, so they just have awesome buffs all around here. Uh, incredible moves, incredible... Uh, incredible stats and then also their abilities are super super important so garden gale and flash fire uh, flash fire becomes garden gale flash fire is a pretty logically fitting ability given that they are you know a balloon and they had flare boost and stuff um, so that's really useful having that fire immunity as well as getting a boost to a move like mystical fire for example uh, which is a tm which you should have uh, about a second island uh, so that's really nice but uh, you know just being immune to fire is nice as a ghost flying type you have a lot of immunities then fighting normal fire and ground that's a lot um, and you have a, you're pretty quick, and you have uh, good special stats as Drifloon. It's just great for the early game. But then when you get uh, when you evolve, you get Garden Gale, which essentially makes Drifblim uh, it leaves Drifblim with only two weaknesses to Dark and Ghost, and it gives it all the all of the resistances that it has with flying still. So it gets to keep the flying resistances and the ground immunity in exchange for basically just being a pure Ghost type in terms of weaknesses. So that's huge. Um, but uh, your other ability is also something that I don't want people to sleep on. So Guardian Gale fits pretty damn well, in my opinion, given that they are a hot air balloon. Uh, and also their defense set is still pretty poor, but when you factor in that 150 base HP, they're very tanky physically. And then our special defense is really great. So 150 and 110 for death is, is, is super tank. Um, not to mention it has a very good special attack set of base 110. So it's just a really, really great mountain overall. I did lower their attack just for based on total reasons. Um, I felt like 550 fit them, given that they are like kind of bigger... Pokemon, not to mention, there was just, I didn't want any other stats to be lower, to be honest. Um, but uh, the important thing I haven't mentioned here yet is Unburden. Unburden is fucking god tier in this hack because of all of the new item changes uh, and also just the fact that you have all of this preparation and options available to you. Most importantly, uh, the Quick Claw. If you go to the Hold Item Changing the Buffs, the Quick Claw is now a single use guaranteed trigger item. So literally any move will trigger Unburden with Quick Claw. So for example, you can use a strong attack with Quick Claw, get priority on it, kind of like First Impression does, and then you'll, your speed will be doubled. But a really good thing you can do is you can use Quick Claw Unburden with something like Calm Mind, Nasty Plot, or Conjure. Conjure being uh, Calm Mind, but it gives you a physical defense boost instead of a special defense boost. Um, and those are all, all, all three of those are incredible with uh, Unburden, you know, especially Nasty Plot. Uh, all these setup moves do have nerfed PP, and there are a lot of anti setup things in this hack um, from Priority Whirlwind, Priority Roar. Um, heart, priority Heart Swap, Unaware Pokemon, Clear Smog, Haze, all types of stuff. Uh, Taunt is very prevalent as well. So all of things, all of those things will make setup a little bit harder. But you know, it's still not that difficult. You just have to be a little bit smarter about it. It's not as brainless as it used to be. Um, and with that nasty block plus Unburden plus Quick Claw, it's it's fucking insane. You get double speed and double special attack in one turn. It's huge. Um, it's double dance basically in one turn um and also you can use this offensively and also defensively you could use it with a bunch of different items there's so many uh you know the sky's the limit with this item uh weakness policy also works great with the uh, drift limb because of its great bulk as well as the fact that garden gale means that it will still get the weakness policy boost but it won't take the super effective damage if that makes sense so uh you know for example you get hit with a thunderbolt or a wild charge or whatever it is you're gonna take super effective damage in terms of the calculation, but then Garden Gale makes it, you know, it halves the damage. So you're still getting that weakness policy boost is my point, and that's huge. So you can use agility weakness policy with Garden Gale, or you can just use weakness policy plus on Burden. That was something that uh, Drip Blim was actually good at doing before with acrobatics, but obviously it's no longer a mixed attacker. But uh, your move pool in general is excellent. You have all kinds of great coverage. You're also a great defensive Pokemon, like I said, with those immunities, that great bulk, as well as a lot of really useful utility moves, such as Roost, Strength Stat later on, Stockpile, Swallow, which are buffed. Uh, I'm not gonna go into the, every single little nitty gritty detail of every move buffer change, but you can check them out below um, because those are really important. But you just have all kinds of utility things in your arsenal. It's just a really fucking fun Pokemon. Uh, Flare boosts for trainers only, just you know because it's overpowered. Otherwise, because you don't, uh, you can go into the fight with the burn already, so you can get like an item on top of the special attack boost, which is insane, um, and like not really 
balanced at all. But yeah, um, great defensive tools. Like I said, you got dual screens, you got parting shot, you got roost. Like I said, you got other healing moves. You got will o wisp, you got whirlwind, you got haze, clear smog. Soul absorb is huge. Although uh, your HP set is so big that soul absorb and strength sap even won't be getting you that much healing. Uh, roost would actually probably heal more. Although strength sap, strength sap is is is, is, an, is an exception because of how strong that move is. Um, not to mention you also drop the physical attack of the opponent, which is nice to patch up your lower physical defense. However, you do have to keep in mind that with max defense investment, Drift Bloom is tanking physical hits because of that giant HP stat. You really got to keep that in mind. In fact, Drift Bloom is um, basically almost as bulky as Blissey is physically now, because Blissey has 60 defense and 155 HP now, so that kind of puts it in perspective, and Blissey is pretty damn tanky physically, so yeah. Um, and you know, every Pokemon has to have some sort of weak point, so you know, it makes sense that it's a balloon and we weak to physical attack still. Um, but yeah, absolute beast here. I could cover every little nitty gritty change, but I'm honestly going to save it. The last thing I'll mention is uh, the Spectrify gives you an Omni Boost, so you can pair that with Stored Power, which, um, you know, with an Omni Boost, you're super fast, you're super strong, and you're super tanky. And you uh, get that 120 base power of Stored Power, and Stored Power gives you another boost each time you click it. However, it only has 3pp. But in general, you have all kinds of amazing tools here. Like I said, Unburden is absolutely incredible, not just with Quick Claw, although honestly, you can use that every fight if you wanted to. Um, but with all kinds of other things that you can use Unburden with, you can get very creative with it. It's a great ability. Um, the gems, for example, um, obviously flying gem acrobatics won't work anymore because your physical attack is, is garbage, but um, you know, any type of gem with uh, Unburden could work. But honestly, Quick Claw is probably a little bit, a little bit better uh, in most situations. Not always though. Maybe the lead is slower than you and you need to kill it. Who knows? Uh, all kinds of opportunities that you can use with this Pokemon. So yeah, super, super fun, super fitting bust and Changes. Um, I was considering keeping Flash Fire on Drift Blim, but I like guarding you a little bit more. Uh, I just think it's more fun and also fits more. So, yeah. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this type of video. Hopefully you enjoyed this style of buff and changes. If you did, definitely make sure you check out the description below and look at the other ones and also check out my other videos. And most importantly, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That would be very helpful for me. So, hopefully you enjoyed and I thank you for the time. Goodbye.